Hey guys, in today's video, I got this uh, birdhouse I did at my chainsaw carving. It's got a big crack down there. Um, I'm going to be using it in my uh, my uh, wishing well for the top of my chainsaw wishing well. But today I brought it home to see what I can do to fix it up and make it look better with my Dremel 4000 using flex shaft, my cut saw carving burr with carpet in it, and I'll be pulling my uh, RAM micro motor out too to fix this sucker up. Okay. Okay, so this crack here, you can see it goes all the way through to the inside of the birdhouse. But up here when it's thicker, it only comes out right there. So all I'll probably do is um, shove some wood blocks in there with epoxy them in just to stop the, the, the water from dripping in here. I don't think birds are going to live in here anyways. It's just basically for aesthetics. So I haven't really decided how I'm going to uh, make this better, but it's just going to be kind of a, uh, I'm just going to start carving and I'll do fast feed and maybe a walkthrough, like fix up these eyes, um, give all the beard and mustache better details with my aluminum cutting burrs like uh, this. And uh, who knows, really, there's not really too much I can do, but I'll try. We'll see if it can look better from now till then. Okay, so I know it doesn't look much different, but it does, trust me. So I've decided, because this is going to go on top of the wishing well that I've been carving, if you guys want to see that video of the chainsaw carving, it's too tall on the piece. So I already know that I want to cut this off with my chainsaw, okay? I want to make this shorter. So I know that cutting it off right here, well, it's not going to have any bottom, but it will have a bottom when it sits on top of the wishing well because it's cedar, right? So I'm gonna cut it off right here. Maybe I'll just put it in my bandsaw, zip it off, if it will fit in my little tiny bandsaw I got here. And um, I decided that, uh, yeah, I might as well put some shims in it before I stain it. So I got this piece of birch. It's almost the same color. It's a little bit darker. This is cedar, western red cedar. This is a log I found on the beach, but I'll make some little shims out of this birch, I guess. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take it downstairs, cut it, and make some shims for it. Okay, so I got those wedges in there, uh, epoxied in there. Now I'll just wait 10 minutes, and I thought of a great idea when I'm waiting. One of the best ideas I've had in a long time. Why not eat a cookie? Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Okay, so these are all dry now. Um, what I'm going to do is... Cut them up, uh, carve them off quickly with my uh, cut saw extreme flame burr. Go to the description below to get to the cut saw site. Use the code five C C fusion to save yourself. Goddamn five percent. So I'm gonna buck all this stuff off quickly here with the with this my Fordham. Okay, so I took it outside, cut it cut it off with my uh, chainsaw, not as low as I wanted to go, but lower. Now I think it looks better. Okay, you can see those wedges are in there. There's still some gaps, but I don't give a shit. Okay, I got that screwed in. The back's all screwed in. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I got my um, RAM power. Okay, I'm going to use this hand piece. Here's to a uh, subscriber out in Sweden. Here's me using my RAM power. It's a pretty quick, quiet system, guys. And when you hold this, like, watch, I'll turn it on. There's barely any vibration on the handpiece. 
Okay, so it's, it's at 36 now, and let's turn it up to max. That's not me turning the volume down or anything. So this is very quiet, and yes, you can use it inside of a, a house. It's so quiet, this thing, compared to the Dremel. Okay, I'll stop it. Now let me turn my Dremel on and see how loud that is. Way louder. Way louder. Okay, so anyways, I got this aluminum attachment in here. Aluminum cutter. You can find this in the, in the Amazon store below, guys. It sets a ten for 20 bucks. And I'm going to do all his beard hairs under his eyes. I uh, Little goddamn eyebrow whisker things. And um, yeah, his beard, his mustache, under the eyes and eyebrow whisker things. I want to show you guys this thing when this is running if I put too much overload it stops okay so listen for the beep I'm gonna overload it and it will stop stop starts again I'll do it again stops starts again that's why I love this thing because I can't break it it's good for heavy hands okay so Got my gloves on. Good luck trying to get some more of these. I only got like 10 pairs left, but I'm sure these are sold out everywhere. So we'll get this on. And uh, my battery's dying. But um, yeah, we'll, I'll get it on and then I'll be back. I'll put it on, I'll wipe it off with a rag. Okay, I got that stained, poly shaded. I did the roof black. This is a shitty piece of cedar too, guys, but whatever. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, again, typical flap sounder on my uh, Dremel 200 or multi-little Dremel I got. No, old, this is an old school Dremel flex shaft, guys, this handpiece. But I'm going to run around and, and hit all the high points to give it a different effect. So, okay. Okay, guys, it's done. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but, different, but to me it does. Like... The face, the shape of the face is the same, but now it's got some cheekbones there, some age lines, some eyebrows, and thinner hairlines. You can see right there, I cut right through it, but who cares? Birds aren't going to live in here anyways. Well, you never know, but I think it will be too low on the uh, spirit, the spirit wishing well that I'm chainsaw carving for birds to want to live in. And there's a breather hole up there. Sign your pieces, people. Sign it. So, do I love it? No, I don't love it. Do I hate it? Don't hate it. It is what it is. I dyed the roof uh, black with that po black poly shade. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it, guys. So, you know, just goes to show, show you. <clears throat> don't recarve some of your first carvings. Always keep those carvings as your first carvings, right? But when once you do a lot of carvings and you see something that you want to try and make better, go for it. Who cares? It's your art, guys. You know, you can see that. In there too it doesn't matter it just makes it look more rustic looking those are my wedges who gives a shit right makes it look like an old kind of barn thing but anyways that's it guys hope you're all doing good oh and uh, tomorrow i'm going to be carving this wood i think i'm going to carve i think i'm going to carve it like this i'm going to carve a wood spirit up in here or something i'll figure it out but this is a piece of wood from my buddy Carlos. He's a subscriber here. And he's a wood carver from, uh, ah, Carlos, I think it's Puerto Vallarta. And damn it, this is the densest wood of the world, guys. I forget the name of it, something. I forget the name of it, but it's the most dense, dense wood in the world. And this is what I'm going to be carving tomorrow. Kind of reminds me of a pig or something right here. An alligator and you guys don't forget to head over to just carve rob's channel and give him a like and subscribe he's making lots of cool videos of little carvings like in this basswood here and uh i support his channel a thousand percent so just uh subscribe to him for me please if you want just carve rob 
Uh, yeah, it's like a pig head. I don't know, something. But I'll be carving this tomorrow. You'll see the two different colors in here. This is the darker wood, and this is like a wood, a vine that wrapped around it. I got no clue what I'm going to carve, and I'm thinking a wood spirit in here and something. That's why I haven't carved this yet, Carlos, because I can't make up my mind what I want to carve in it. Okay, guys, hope you're all good. Bye.